Well, folks, the alignment was pretty decent on this Jeep when I bought it. Um, I checked the uh, toe-in on it. The toe-in was actually spot on. It was like, a, like an eighth of an inch toe-in, which is pretty much perfect on these. And um, one thing I was a little, I guess, concerned about was the uh, caster angle. And to be honest with you, I wasn't really sure, you know, like where to measure caster and uh, how to how to set it on here. I watched several YouTube videos, and honestly, most of them were not helpful. Um, a couple were really helpful. Um, Nate at Dirt Lifestyle, that dude's always super, just super on point and just a really smart dude i really like watching his stuff he had a great video on it as well as you know all the alignment points especially when you're doing a custom build with custom axles and long arms and everything like he does but um his was a really good video to watch and then i watched another i'm not sure who the other one was by but his was was really spot on and, and, and really helpful as well so on the um on the lower control arms on this you know they're they're not what you would call adjustable lower control arms they're still the factory lower control arms on here but it does have the uh the uh relocation bracket for the three and a half inch lift and it does have the uh the uh the uh, cam washer on there with the bolt so you've got quite a bit of adjustment there and um you know i had seen that both sides didn't jive just from looking at the washer they were in different locations and um you know i didn't know if you know i i know there's tolerances that are off you know even from a factory vehicle you know there can be slight slight differences and uh you know maybe they had to compensate for something to put them there but it just didn't set well with me so I measured from the axle to a known spot on the frame that I knew was the exact same on both sides. And um, the, uh, let's see, the passenger side was off by about, uh, not quite a quarter of an inch, a little less than a quarter of an inch. It, it may, may have been around a quarter, just a little shy. But anyway, I went there and I measured everything. And um, when I when I measured um, to a known place on both sides of the chassis, um, so that the axle was basically centered there, I went ahead and start checking the caster at that point, and I checked it with the digital angle finder on top of the top. Uh, a ball joint you know because it's a basically like a flat machine surface there and you know it wasn't it wasn't terrible but it had like two I don't know like maybe 2.7 degrees to three degrees of camber give or take I mean caster I mean and um, everything I've read or watched says that these Jeeps are set up with about four degrees of caster and um, a lot of the off-road guys like to do six or sometimes more so I set them both up and um, once I adjusted them for the same caster on each side I adjusted them for five degrees I figured that's right between the four and the six you know put it right at five and then I remeasured the axle to the known spots on the on the frame that I knew were the exact you know same measurements, and they actually lined up perfect. So a five degrees caster on each side at the upper ball joints. Um, I've got the same exact measurements. The axle is is dead, even on both sides now. And um, I'm taking it out for a spin here, and she she drove pretty good before. But I, I, I hear people talking about the flighty feel, right? Or maybe it doesn't feel planted or something. 
and I know that little difference going from like 2.7 to 5 I can tell it feels a lot more solid I mean my steering wheel was already centered I didn't have to do anything with it it just feels so much more solid now and you know when you did make a turn before you know you make a left or a right turn and you want if you let go of the steering wheel you want the steering wheel to go back to center it would do it but it, it, it the little bit I've adjusted it has even helped it more now it goes right back to center just like it's supposed to so um yeah so basically from everything I've gathered because I'm no expert on you know setting up the caster angle um, so basically everything that I've read says that you want I believe it's a negative caster you want don't quote me on this but I know that you want the the um, the top of ball joint further back than the bottom one and of course you measure that with a you know angle finder or something like that and uh, put mine at five degrees and it's just it's solid now you know, the speed limit just went up to 65 so we're at 65 verified by GPS and um, it, it's a win it's always windy up here in northern Nevada but you can see the steering's real real solid at this speed on the highway it's definitely not like when you watch the old videos of the A team remember when old Mr. T BA Baracus was driving that GMC van Boy, and that steering wheel would be going like that all over the road. That was so funny. Of course, he wasn't actually driving it, but you know what I mean. Yeah, this thing's this thing's solid. That that little bit going from like 2.7 to 5 really really helped it. All right, folks, catch you later.